there is uh, much misunderstanding about divine en energies of the feminine spirit. In uh, the archetypes, there's an energy called Lilith. Uh, Lilith is um, is an archetype, is a construct that, uh, according to the archetype, was initially a uh, feminine resonance that was supposed to accompany the resonance of primordial man, Adam, and. Uh, it was a resonance that issued forth that it did not want to co-create with Adam and instead wanted to dominate. So in the archetype, this resonance uh, does not come in unity with Adam and is said to become the partner of, uh, of the uh, reptilian resonance, the uh, Nachash. Um, and that, that's the archetype of uh, Lilith as an energy. And then there's, uh, instead, there's an energy with the Eve at archetype, Haba, and uh, she is the Earth Mother. She is the the energy of collecting um, with a nurturing and inspiring and bringing together, um, pulling together all to formulate a higher gestalt, a higher, some totality more than the pieces, a, a healing, soothing, reunification and nurturing back to the health of grace and glory of the eternal resonance of that entity um, intelligence and it's a counter resonance to the Lilith archetype and I want to give further clarity to these two archetypes. You see, um, when all source, divine, um, in its essence, um, chose to express an actualization of its potentials and a true love construct and give actualization to potentials of expression as seemingly separate intelligences and individuality within a free will construct realm. Um, the energy to do so required the creation of a void, the creation of darkness uh, per se uh, darkness had to be created a void had to be created for eternity is a collective oneness and in order to play out this drama of a true love story construct eternity had to become fragmented into pieces there had to be a perception of disconnect and to do that we had to fashion and create the perception of a darkness and of a void and of a disconnect in order to galvanize uh, spearhead this actualization of this uh, expression of a true love construct and so in that regard, the Divine Feminine Energy is that which gives space by separation and detaching, um, segmentation. Um, it is 
the detachment from oneness. Um, the mystics refer to this energy as a motherly energy. Um, if you think of eternity as an eternal wisdom, the light of eternal wisdom, so the equivalence of this feminine energy would be understanding for when you are in a line with the eternity and oneness, so you are in all oneness, there are no questions, it is all clear. It is only once you exile the light of eternity that you feel detached and you have questions and you have a void um, understanding is breaking off an aspect of the light of eternity to fit within the receptacle of your understanding in exile so understanding is a feminine energy of breaking off and giving space taking a piece of eternity but breaking it off from its source in infinity and in eternity. The child between wisdom and understanding, which is knowing, reunites that understanding back to its root in its father energy in eternity. And in doing so, marries again understanding and wisdom. And so in order to create the darkness, there is a, a feminine energy, a reductionist energy that creates the facade of a void, of a disconnect, of a detachment. And you see it within nature. I mean, if you look at um, masculine energy, so in reproduction, the male energy is producing uh, millions of of seed um, for potential but you need the feminine energy to take one and isolate it and break it down and then the masculine energy then tries to multiply and the, the feminine energy refracts it and this process repeats itself until it gives it dimensionality for expression in a concrete materialistic world it gives it definition and space it gives it borders so it can exist in linearity because infinity in the linear world will just expand and expand and expand until it's none and it's all but it is all and therefore it's none at all as well and so the feminine energy is, is a way to impart infinite resonances into the concrete into the space of linearity and is sacred as such. And that helps create the exile construct. But there's a feminine energy that is the reciprocal energy, the upshot of that expression in order to create the void, in order to create the absence. And that energy is called by many mystics Shekhinah. It's the energy the earth mother energy the return of the eve mother essence energy it is when that same feminine energy when that vibration is uplifted to a higher vibration then what was used to create dimensionality then resonates actually in bringing together all the pieces and imbuing out of those pieces the unification of them all to manifest a larger gestalt effect between them so it creates a spirit that is more than the sum of the parts by nurturing out of those pieces their essence forth from eternity until the light of eternity is glowing like a bubble around all of existence and that is the return of the feminine mother energy called Shehina and that is as well so profound so sacred and something that all the mystical traditions have predicted for a return in this time the return of the Mother Divine.